though you're itching to move and you want a different area, you just don't know where that area is. But you've decided that you want to go to the South Bay and it's a great choice. But even the South Bay is a very large area and it's very diverse. Multiple cities, all with different amenities. So it's best to start to make a list of what you're looking for. Just like when you're remodeling, make a list so that you have priorities because no one's gonna get everything on the list. Here are some examples of what you may want to put on that list. I want good schools. I want a large yard. I want to be in a safe area with really low crime. If you want a one-story home, great, they're rare. Um, do you want a pool? You don't want a pool or you want room for a pool? Do I need a view or could I care less about the view? And then, oh, everyone says, but I work from home. But you have to commute sometimes to work. How much time are you willing to spend in your car? If you want sidewalks, that's not important. You want a big fixer, but you can, mm, you'd probably prefer not, maybe just a little updating, or does it absolutely have to be move-in ready? When I moved to the South Bay, my husband and I had a list. Problem was then, it seemed that everyone was like us and everybody wanted exactly what we wanted. So it took us six months to find our home here, but we were patient and while we did not get our entire list, we got much of what we wanted. Explaining all of this to your realtor and exploring with your realtor will help that person a lot in identifying the area that you want in the South Bay. What area is best for your lifestyle? We settled on Palos Verdes very quickly and we love it here. It's terrific and I think you'll love it here too. Just give me a call.